always the mantra for Piano Picnic originally. I had, and for the first few years, it was play piano, bite by bite. But a couple of years ago, I went through a little bit of journey. I realized that I wasn't really communicating my sort of beliefs and my values around what music means to me and what playing the piano really means to me rather than just being another provider of piano lessons on the internet. I wanted a mantra that could encompass this the heart of what it means to be a creative pianist, not just a key pusher, not just a key pusher, right? But someone who plays with intention to create something beautiful or to create something terrifying or to create something hilarious whatever it is that you are creating at the piano doesn't always have to be beautiful um is with intention and with your intention because it was one thing that something that's really common and particularly with classical music in the traditional piano playing is to play your repertoire as the composer intended and i always I always used to argue with my piano teachers because I'd be like, I don't want to play as the composer intended. He's long gone. I'm me. I'm going to play it the way that I intend. And I, that this is sort of something about what I want play it like you mean it to mean that um, playing creatively and playing, improvising, playing by ear, playing from a lead sheet, comping, riffing, all those things where you are the composer. So you're playing it like you mean it, not how someone else means it. The second thing I wanted my mantra to do is to be sort of um, something that pianists could use to motivate themselves to get on that piano bench because none of us have, we, we have imperfect days, we have many imperfect days, imperfect weeks, months, sometimes years where we don't get to the bench as often as we would like to practice. I wanted this mantra to, to sort of acknowledge that struggle that we don't always get to the piano bench. But if we can recognize the fact that you didn't decide to learn the piano just because you had way too much time, money and energy to know what to do with, that you just decided to take something up and do a thing out of the hat and decided it was piano. Even if you did choose piano randomly I doubt that you are going to be sticking at it and be learning to become a creative pianist just because you randomly decided it one day there's always a reason conscious or subconscious that you are drawn to this instrument whether it's the way that it looks or feels or the way it makes sense to you or whether there's something in your memory or your life that has influenced you towards the piano or you just love the sound. There's so many different reasons that you would have chose the piano. Um, and so again, it comes back to that intention, realizing that it was on purpose. It wasn't an accident. So next time you think, I don't know if I feel like playing the piano or getting to the piano pe bench. If you can just think, play it like you mean it, means that I made this decision. I meant it when I decided to play the piano. Therefore, I'm going to mean it and go and purposefully sit there and do some practice. The focus as well so that when you get on the bench when you do manage to get there and you're sitting there not to waste time we want to play it like you mean it play it with focus what do I need to be working on I'm going to focus on it because I mean this I mean to improve I'm going to do this on purpose it's not going to be an accident I'm not going to wait to wake up and just have finally w woken up with the natural ability that I hope to have we're going to focus on what we need to be improving on with intention, with consistency and with focus so that you can really see the progress that you desire. The energy that we bring needs to be 100% as well. And I don't just mean in terms of I've just had a coffee, so I've got loads of energy. I mean positive energy, negative energy, whatever it is that you're bringing, bring it to the piano because I wholeheartedly believe that playing the piano shouldn't just be about improving just to give the other side of what I was just talking about it's not all about work it's not all about 
uh, progress all of the time. Sometimes it also has to be about the outlet that you get from it, expressing yourself. If you come to the piano and it's a bad day, put it into what you play. Give it a, give it a bit of a smash. You can use it as that expressive outlet. And also when it comes to performing, anyone else that is going to witness your playing is definitely going to get more out of it uh, from witnessing what you are putting into your performance in terms of energy and uh, expression and emotion uh, more than they're going to appreciate perfection. Yeah, so we've got this idea that play it like you mean it is about playing it like you mean it. It's the intention, playing it with consistency, making sure that we are getting to the piano bench to do our practice because we meant it when we decided we wanted to become better at the piano and also play it like you mean it in terms of mean it 100% focus and then lastly the energy is play it like you mean it in terms of bringing your whatever your energy is to your playing as a way of having that outlet of emotions using this mantra of play it like you mean it it's all those best parts of becoming a pianist improving feeling good about the progress that you're making not cheating yourself out of regularly playing and making the progress that you desire because that's that's the only person that you are cheating uh, and also getting those therapeutic benefits those are all those great benefits of being a committed pianist that will honestly be revealed to you when you put the work in just in case we've got anyone here or anyone watching the replay that has not yet become a creative pianist now you know exactly what the mantra play it like you mean it behind piano picnic means if that aligns with what you want your piano journey to be like then you should come and join the creative pianist membership you get everything within the piano picnic situation which is all of the courses songs by air super basics riffing pro lovingly cheats peaceful piano improvising at home those are all the main courses and then we also have the monthly coachings which are all on different topics as well so that's something you sh you can you can go and check out yourself because you'll need to go and read all the thing and see what all the things are but i just wanted to quickly encourage you that it's so important to find a uh, tutor with piano that aligns with your learning style and also with your values so if this mantra appealed to you this more than anything else i think is important then you are going to be right at home in our community of creative pianists because this is our vibe thank you so much for watching i hope that you will play it like you mean it this week